What's good guys? Today I'm going to do a video on a home IPL system. I haven't really talked about this on my channel ever because, I don't know, it's kind of like a weird topic. I'm not like embarrassed about it or anything, I just don't talk about it. But basically for myself, I would really like only the hair on my head, my eyebrows and my eyelashes. For me personally, I don't want any other body hair. Kind of like a little personal phobia totally don't care if other people have hair on their bodies i just personally don't like it for myself so that's why i purchased this product um yeah the one that i bought was the smooth skin gold ipl which is a ipl permanent hair reduction for body and face so it's this one here um i purchased this online i didn't want to go into store to buy it um, but you can it's called the shaver shop it's in like most of the malls <coughs> i'm pretty sure throughout new zealand don't quote me on that you'd have to go online to have a look um but yeah that's where i got mine from it was 900 dollars yeah if i'd gone into store i probably could have haggled but i didn't and i would rather just pay the full amount um yeah and not go into store to buy it but this is what it looks like um, this is the packaging. I can't wait to do this video because I can finally throw it out. I've had this for quite a while, um, but it comes in a box that like box that lifts up like this. And yeah, I'm now gonna get rid of this. I purely held on to that so I could show you when I finally got around to videoing. So yeah, <laughs> the actual IPL system itself looks like this, which is um, super cute for a hair removal system. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, power cord, so that's a really good selling point for me. I did, I've never used an IPL system before. I have had hair removal done before in a beauty place. I don't know what you call them. It's in a salon, is it? What is that? Uh, in a clinic? Um, so, yeah, I haven't really got anything to compare with um, to other machines so don't ask I've never used any other IPL system this is the first one I've used um, but it runs off the mains which is that was super important to me I really wanted something that ran off the mains I cannot be bothered with charging something all the time I already have to charge two cameras all the time and that's like <laughs> frustrating enough so I definitely didn't want anything that was like um, battery powered so first selling point is it runs off mains um, the other key thing for me when I bought this one or the reason I decided to buy this one it actually took me like I don't know a year to make up my mind on which one I would purchase I actually fell pregnant during that time so it wasn't like a big deal anyway in the end but um yeah it took me a very long time to research the IPL systems that you can buy because there's actually quite a few now and the price difference is there's quite a range of price difference so um, I'll tell you why I bought this one um, I can't really remember the, the um, specs of all the other IPL systems that I um, compared it to so yeah don't um, I don't know you won't have to do your own research there's plenty of comparison sites to show you but um, I can only really talk about this one so um, yeah <laughs> the one um, the other reason why I really liked this one is because it's um, <laughs> I'm trying to think. light easy to maneuver but also I'm just reading the specs off the screen here um, it has 120,000 flashes and the little key point here is that means you can treat your full body for up to six years. And I'm obviously not treating my full. I haven't said anything about it yet, so it's not obvious, but I'm not treating my full body. I am doing my, uh, maintaining my arms. So I have no hair on my arms. Um, I used to, and it was like medium dark, wasn't super dark. Um, and it was, they were, they were fine hairs, but just lots of them. And I really just didn't like it. I just don't like hairy arms um, on girls. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I'm so sorry if this like offends anyone. But I just, personally for myself, I, I really didn't like it. So I prefer to have no hair. And I haven't had hair on my arms since I was probably, I don't know, 16 or 17. I actually got, clin that's, those are my clinic sessions that I got. So um, basically I know that no hair reduction or lasering is permanent um, and just because I spent so much money on that I really don't want to ever have to go back and get it done I haven't um, yeah I think once I do a couple more goes on this it'll be like super smooth and hardly grow back but um, yeah so I'm doing my arms um, also I'm doing uh, I have actually done my legs a few times but I'm gonna stop doing that and do that as my last body part once I'm done with my other bits and pieces because that takes so long like to do this it takes a very long time um, so when I was I'll just go over the other part so I'm also doing my bikini area 
Um, I would prefer to have <laughs> no hair there. Oh my god, I didn't realise how embarrassing this video was going to be. <laughs> oh wow. Um, so yeah, my bikini area, my arms, um, and under my arms. So that's the areas that I'm doing. Um, yeah. <laughs> I And my legs when I've done those. So it is four body parts. Um, the key one that I've taken photos of was my underarms. I already didn't have much hair on my arms, so I couldn't really show you like before and afters on that. But I did take a, a photo of my armpits before I did my first session. I've then also taken a, taken a photo every two days after each session. So I think I did that for about five or six sessions. You're meant to do 12 sessions with this to see like major results and stuff. I saw major, major results under my arms, like um, maybe the third or fourth time, but I also stopped using it. So I couldn't really keep filming it for you or keep um, taking photos and stuff to show you. So um, I am starting back up. I did use it last week and I'm going to use it again tonight. So I am going to get back into using this and I'll probably start my 12 weeks again. But um, yeah, I'll, what I'll do is I've got a photo before I took it. Um, uh, two days after shaving my armpits before I use the laser and then I'll give you any photos that I've got but I'll also just do it after 12 weeks so you can see the difference um, and I thought waiting two days was a good amount of time because that's usually when I've got like I need to shave again so yeah <laughs> Oh, such a weird video. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was one of the key things was the 12, um, the 120,000 flashes. Sorry, I'm going to keep reading off my screen. Um, yeah, the other key one that might be good for other people, like for me, because I've had clinic treatment before, I know that I am fine with lasers. This is an IPL system, not a laser. So it's a intense pulse light. Um, which is different and yeah if you want to know um, more about the difference this will be going up on my website so I'll link um, my website page to this video and you can see um, the description there and what the difference is I just don't want this video to be too long um, but yeah if you've got really sensitive skin there's this little um, button here and that's the uh, sensitive mode or gentle mode so it reduces the energy when you, I'm just reading, <laughs> it reduces the energy when you do each flash, so that's really good if you've got really sensitive skin. Um, what else has it got? It's got, it's got like a built-in fan and stuff for the machine so that it doesn't over, um, like burn out and stuff, so yeah, the other key thing was this, I mean this is a lot bigger than some of the machines that you get, which was really important for me as well, I'm just going to just check I haven't missed anything. Um, oh yeah, it doesn't say that you can do your bikini area, but I have been, so yeah, use at your own risk around that area. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Um, oh yeah, okay, so I'll show you how it works anyway, but those are the key points for me purchasing it. This is such a rambly video, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Um, key points were um, the, the amount of t flashes that you got, the fact that it ran off main, um, it doesn't say if you use it on your bikini era and stuff, but I kind of wanted one that um, I saw reviews didn't, um, people did do it there and it was fine, so yeah. Um, <clears throat> have I missed anything? Have I missed anything? Have I missed anything? Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, that's right. So um, I'll show you how to use it anyway and I'll include all the uh, extra points. So this is the on and off button, this blue one here. To turn it on, you literally press the button. And then you can hear the machine start up and there's the fan that goes, um, you can feel the air coming out of the back there. <clears throat> so you can see these blue lights now, I don't know if you can, but there's two blue lights here, um, which are the sensors. So what you need to do, and I'm going to get my facts straight on this because I don't, can't promise I use it the correct way. Uh, so we say switch it on. Okay, I'm just going to read through the steps. So it says, number one, prepare the area to be treated um, you need to shave it, clean it and dry it. Do not use this on wet skin. Uh, then switch it on, so the blue button is the standby button um, and then you press it and it turns white. <coughs> My voice is turning to crap. <coughs> uh, then the third step is to apply it to your skin. So what you do is you place the handset firmly onto the area to be treated. Ensure both skin tone sensors, which are these ones here, are um, pressed against your skin. If a valid skin tone is detected, the power bars on the side, which are these ones here, so if I go like this, you can see the power bars lighting up on the side there, um, will illuminate white to indicate your skin tone, 
uh, skin tone and then it customizes the setting. Um, so it, it'll basically say how, um, by you doing this, it'll um, pick how um, uh, the strength of the, uh, the light. <sighs> yeah, it basically says if you find the treatment too painful, then you need to um, use the gentle mode. So the feeling of this is like a ping. I don't find it painful at all in any areas. So yeah, I cannot tell you that it's painful. I have quite a high pain threshold. So I'm the worst person to tell you if it is painful or not. So I'll show you how it works. So if I was to do my arm, you can see they're placing it both sides, um, the blue on your arm. Then you simply just press this here and you would have seen a big flash. You meant to look away from that as well. And you just feel, yeah, it's like, I can't even explain the feeling of it. Um, but yeah, basically the cleaner shave you get on the area, you cannot put this on here. You need to shave the area completely. And the closer the shave, the better because the light travels down the hair and then it goes into the roots and then like through the um, <laughs> hair follicle. So yeah, you really need to get a really close shave and stuff um, <clears throat> on this. So if you don't have the senses on properly, like if I was to go here on my fingers or something like that on my hand, I'm trying to make this not work. It's not really working out too well. Um, okay, that means that it hasn't got a good um, connection to your skin that you need to like change it around and do whatever. Try to find like a darker area where it doesn't light up as much. <clears throat> See how that doesn't light up to the end? That means that that bit of skin's a bit darker than the rest of my skin and that it, it won't send as um, an intense light down the hair. So that makes sense. <clears throat> so you can see that lights up in full and that lights up less. So when I do my bikini area, that area is like darker than the rest of my body and that doesn't light up much at all. So yeah, that's basically the machine. Uh, I'm trying to think <clears throat> what else you guys need to know. Okay, so I think what I'll show you in here is the this is the manual and it comes with one of those. <laughs> um, but basically um, for those that are watching, like I don't know who's watching this video, so I'm just going to cover everything. Obviously I'm pale as, I do fake tan, so when I'm fake tanned, like what I'll usually do is apply like <laughs> bath or shower, do the laser and then I will fake tan afterwards because I fake tan once a week. So yeah, that's basically my routine, it's like every Saturday or Sunday I'll do um, my little routine and I'll laser and then fake tan. Um, so when I'm fake tanned, I remember when I first tried to use this, I was fake tanned and the light didn't go anywhere near the end. That's because this is not suited for dark skin, like at all. So the best scenario is like me, if you've got like a black hair or dark brown hair and you've got white skin, that is the best, or pale skin, that is the best scenario. You'll get the best results from that. Um, you can see here that it says, um, like light here and then it goes down to dark so the power bar will fill up the most with the lightest skin which is that picture there the middle will start getting less and less and less and then obviously the dark skin will not work and the actual machine will not send a light so there's no point in buying it if you have a darker skin tone um, even getting towards like olives even like it's just a darker even slightly darker like it the more, like the darker your skin tone, the less likely this is going to work. The lighter your hair as well, it's not going to work. This will only work if you've got pigment in your hair color. So it needs to be a dark color. So, um, yeah, dark, sorry, light skin and dark hair. So I'm just reading here, it says less lights equal darker skin and lower power setting. More lights, lighter skin and higher power setting. So, um, yeah, no treatment possible when the red light is illuminated. Dark skin is the lowest power setting, one light illuminated. Um, light skin, highest power setting is 10 lights. So yeah, um, definitely check it out to see if it'll work for you before you purchase. You definitely don't want to spend $900 and then find out that your hair's too light or your skin's too dark. So do your research. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, the results I see, this definitely works. It's probably like the only reason you were watching this video is to find that if this works. This works. Like, I was so skeptical. It took me so long to buy it. I literally just had to bite the bullet and just do it. Um, I procrastinated for so long, so, so long. And I just, um, I was really miserable. Like, I was really uncomfortable with myself. So I really needed it. Um, and yeah, <laughs> I, it definitely works. 
Uh, I will do an updated video in maybe like three months time when I know I've used it like every week or as close to every week as I can um, and I will be updating my website um, my results and stuff like that so yeah that's basically what I can tell you that's the machine that's the cost those are all my little key selling points and I will update you in three months time so yeah <laughs> make sure you keep watching um, I hope that this was helpful if you've got questions, leave them down below, but please bear in mind, I can only speak for this machine. I've never used anything else. Um, what, yeah. So yeah, ask questions, ask away. I can't guarantee I can answer them all anyway, though. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for the next video.